you encourage their participation up on the stage when they came? Always. I mean, in other words, what I do is I'm basically the head cheerleader. You know, I'm the I'm the ringmaster. I just kind of start the thing up. And then after that, I take the personality of the crowd every night because every every crowd has a different personality, every audience. Now so you don't make the shows, you know, standardized every night. Now, there's another thing that I hear has been going on here and here in Sydney that I want to talk to you about. I hear you and Elton John are getting pretty tight. We hooked up, man. It was really great. Uh, we probably been passing for the last five to seven years and never really had the opportunity to sit and just talk. And he was down here recuperating, and of course I was. He had some throat surgery. Throat surgery, and totally recovered from he's it. He's fine. He's fine. Believe me, he was great backstage. Really. But again, he's taking it slow. Yeah. And we just had time to talk. He's in a relaxed mood, not really going anywhere. And I'm here for a week and a half in Sydney. We just hung out on the. We were on the bay the other day, man. Oh. It's great. So, I mean, from this association, is any work going to come? Well, I'm hoping so. We, we actually talked about it, but just lightly, you know. You know, in this business, you don't really make it mandatory. If just if it feels good, you do it. Would you welcome that? Are you kidding me? I'm a big fan of my man, of Elton's. You were telling me, in fact, a story the other day of, of what kind of traveling <laughs> Elton does down here. Now, I was bragging about the fact that I came down here with only <laughs> one, maybe one and a half suitcases, and, and, and Lionel said that he and Brenda came down with just a couple each, yeah. right? Yeah. What did Elton have? He travels with, an. I mean, he travels with tons of suitcases. I would say about 38. 38 cases. 40 cases. Trucks. <laughs> but that's partly wardrobe, partly private, but he's, again... If you know Elton's wardrobe, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to pack now. A little bit of serious business. You and I uh, had a chance to talk when you were finishing up Dancing on the Ceiling, the album. Yeah. And as it first came out, it didn't do what the record breaker did, your second album. You yeah. disappointed? Not really. No, you never go for that. You only go for creativity. You only go for what feels good at the time. And remember now, uh, let's think about the year that just passed. I mean, we Are the World was certainly the record-breaking record-breaker of all yeah. time. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't go after record-breaking things. You go after what feels good for you at the time. And that mood that, that I felt at that particular time was maybe not like a can slow down move, but it's okay. I mean, yeah. you have your, your periods. Adelaide, Brisbane, and then home. L.A. Yeah, talk to me. Travel safe.